shenanigans to finish the weekend. But that will be later. I thought for now, why not some puzzling English words? Because I need as many tests as I can get tests for this technology that I'm working with because it may seem like I know what I'm doing but I don't I have no no idea what I'm doing with all this streaming stuff total total noob really but I'm not new to playing word games I'm not great at them. Actually, I'm not very good at all with word games. I'm more of a math guy when it comes to puzzles. But this right here, S-A-N-D-A-L-S, -A -A sandals. That is something to wear. Did you see that clue at the top? Something to wear. This game is different than a normal word, word search. What I like about this game is that uh, every letter in this puzzle is used in a word. At least I think so. I think that's how this game works. So eventually every single letter will be circled with something like this right here. Suspenders. And the theme of this puzzle, they give you a theme, and that's all there really is. S-U-S-P-E-N-D-E-R-S. -E -E Suspenders. You can wear those instead of a belt to keep your pants up. Suspenders. See, so here's a word here, soap. But you can't wear soap. That's not in the puzzle list. And there is no list of words that I'm supposed to find like if I I mean I'm supposed to find everything on this on this puzzle every word in here but let me see how do I get okay there's the list right here the square button okay hitting the square button brings this up so the best I can do is see the words I've already found like sandals and suspenders. Looks like there's probably a lot of S words. A lot of words that begin with the letter S in this puzzle. Because you can see sandals is over on the far left. Suspenders is the word over on the far right. And there's a line between them. So there's, what, four... There's seven, there's ten words, at least ten words that begin with the letter S. Ten more words, that is. Ten more words, other than sandals and suspenders. And because of the dashes, you can tell how many, how many letters are in each word. So it helps a little bit to find the words if you know you're looking for a word that starts with s but you don't know exactly which words you're searching for here kimono kimono that's something to wear and if we hit square again there it is in the list we found it we found kimono Something to wear is the clue. Okay. Oh, I see sweater. Popular in the Northern Hemisphere at this time of year. Sweater. That will keep you warm. And blouse. B-L-O-U-S-E. Blouse. So that's the theme. I think if uh, if the letters are still lit up, like this S in here, 
suspenders. I think that means it's part of another word to be found. Camisole, I think. I'm not exactly sure what a camisole is. Let me see. I will look it up. I believe it's like a blouse, kind of, but or it's something that's worn. Hmm. It's a sleeveless undergarment. Okay. That's one thing I like about <laughs> word puzzles is I learn some new words because to make these puzzles work, I think sometimes the puzzle maker has to dig really deep into the English language in order to make the puzzle pieces fit together. Okay, I need to make sure that I'm looking at the chat, although it doesn't matter, I think, because no one's watching live. <laughs> but if you were to be watching this right now, or live, while this was being recorded, if you happen to have a question about English, hats? No, it doesn't want hats. Now, hats, that can be worn. <laughs> um, maybe sometimes these words are hard to see in the mixture of things because they can be spelled backwards or upside down diagonally okay up here one of the most basic things you can wear is a d r e s s a dress and it's in this list backwards you're going backwards spelled Rest and this S is still highlighted or hasn't been darkened, so it's part of another word. I can see it's part of two words going down S H O E S shoes. Now, I'm curious. Okay, one thing I can do here is if I click the right buttons, I can get that to pop up and I like the word for shoes in Polish oh in German it looks like it's shoe obuvie 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 footwear hmm I thought booty was the word for shoes yeah I'm not sure Bouvier. Bouvier. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's clear that and get back to puzzling English words here in the <laughs> English language. S H I R T. Shirt. Shirt. And from shirts, there's all kinds of shirts. You can have a t shirt. A long sleeve shirt, which can really be just a t-shirt with long sleeves. Collared shirts, button down shirts. A button down shirt is a shirt that has buttons all the way down. From the from the neck to the bottom of the shirt. A polo shirt is a collared shirt, much like a lot of button down shirts. But it's also like a t-shirt. It's a mix between a button-down shirt and a t-shirt. Or a button-down collared shirt and a t-shirt. That was boots. Maybe boots is what is booty in. Yeah, that's what's, uh, that's what's booty in Polish. Right there, see? Boots. Booty. Booty. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny sounding, too. 
Latin American English speaker because uh, in America, if you told your friend, hey, let's go get some booty, that wouldn't mean you're going shopping for shoes. It just, it just wouldn't. If you hear that, if you hear that in a movie or TV show or something. Okay. Clear that. Get back to the puzzle. Uh, skirt. Now, from what I understand, a skirt is basically like a dress from the waist down. You have to wear a skirt and a blouse. A dress takes care of it all. You got it from the shoulder below the waist and uh, shrug yeah it was sitting right there that's why I guessed shrug but I have no idea what a shrug is what is a shrug I'm thinking is it something that goes over your shoulders maybe hmm let me see shrug Looking this up, a shrug, that's weird. I, I think it's something you put on your shoulders because it's an action you make with your shoulders. It's when you kind of roll your shoulders up. Like if you say, I don't know, you shrug your shoulders. Your shoulders come up a little bit. It's a gesture, it's a physical movement, a shrug, but oh. Shrug, clo <laughs> shrug clothing. A shrug is a cropped cardigan-like garment with short or long sleeves cut in one body. Oh, I'll just show you. Cut in one body, typically knitted. Generally, a shrug covers less of the body. Hmm. Okay, well, I didn't didn't know that. I don't own any shrugs. I've never worn a shrug. But it is something that goes over the shoulders, although I think it doesn't have anything to do with the gesture. Or at least it's not named after anything having to do with the gesture. Okay, let's see. That was a shrug. Robe. Okay, robe, bathrobe, um, I don't know, uh, pajamas, is there a pajamas robe? You wear pajamas, you can have a robe, robe, probably what, that's the most comfortable kind of clothing you can wear around the house. I should have a robe. I don't have a robe right now. I don't. Let me see here. This word, thong, all of these words are something to wear. And this word right here is not a word. Um, this G, how do I use this G for something? What could it be? I don't know. Here is a kilt, something Scotsmen wear. I don't know how many, what percentage of <laughs> this population in Scotland wears kilts. I suppose you could wear a kilt anywhere, anywhere you want. Okay, let's go down. Tuxedo, formal wear. Tuxedo has a bow tie. If you get an invitation, and the invitation is a real fancy invitation to a, a big party, and there's a dress code, it will, if, and if it says black tie, they mean tuxedo. I don't know why they don't just spell out tuxedo. They say black tie instead, but. That means fancy dress. I guess it's a way to also tell women to wear something fancy. 
I don't know what fancy wear like that is called a fancy dress, like an evening gown or something, or is that more like pajamas? I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, I I do not know everything. <laughs> Far from it. Far. Far from it. What are these words here? What's going on? Okay, slacks. Slacks are pants. Pants that are not jeans, basically. If it's not denim material, that really tough woven cotton, that's not denim. If it's not blue jeans. They're pants. I'll call them slacks. Uh... Every American, we know what trousers are, but we don't really use the word trousers. It's the British word. We, we say pants. Ah, bikini. B-I-K-I-N-I. Bikini. That's a swimsuit, right? Two-piece swimsuit. Here we have... Hmm. Every one of these is a word every letter belongs in a word i'll scroll up here oh there's nothing more at the top of that puzzle let's go to square and see what we have in the list so far blouse bikini boots well, a lot of words right there in the middle i'm missing a lot of words i done this puzzle a few times this game on my PlayStation a few times and it's amazing to me how the words eventually are visible and like right now I'm having trouble seeing them P A J P A J A M A pajamas pajama pajamas Pajamas. Go to bed. Put on your pajamas. Get ready for bed. Okay, a cummerbund. I think this is this is the, what you wear with a tuxedo. Usually, it goes around your waist, and it's a broad piece of fabric that covers your belt, covers the waist area, so you you don't see the seam between your shirt and pants it like covers up the border between a shirt and pants okay all right a bunch of words over here a lot of letters what's going on shorts now the word shorts for some reason in polish i i love this word shorts um let me find it okay i got a <laughs> I think my Polish is not not good at all. Oh yeah, here it is. Spodinki. I don't know why, but that's one of my favorite Polish words. Spodinki. Spodinki. I like that word, and I also like Reklamówka. That's a fun word. Reklamówka. All right. Back to the puzzle. Shorts. Okay, shorts. Um, and then near shorts, there's some words right here. Somewhere. I don't know what. Oh, dungarees. Dungarees. Okay, now I want to be sure that I know what those are. <laughs> so I'm going to look because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. It's uh, no, it's it's a brand. Okay, it's what I thought. But that's what I. Th oh, it's not a brand. I guess somebody made it a brand. I thought it was a type of clothing. It says a pair of trousers, a pair of pants, with an extra piece of cloth that covers the chest. 
and it's held in place. Oh, yeah, I don't know what those are. Dungaree. I thought they were called something else. They have another name, and it's not popping into my head right now. I've never worn them. I've never had a pair of those ever before. Okay. How about right here? Is there a word? Pull something? Pull over. Pull over. You could call a lot of things a pullover. Pullover is like a shirt that you have to pull over your head. Something you wear on your upper body that you can't like open and get into. You can't just slide your arms into it. You have to poke your head through it. And pull it over your head and shoulders. So that's a garment, a piece of clothing that's named after the action by which you put it on your body. Don't know why. Maybe some pants we would call, what, step into's? Because <laughs> you step into a pair of pants. Like you would pull over a sweater. I think generally pullovers are something warm. And they're worn in the cold, cold weather. A belt. Belt will help you keep your pants up, just like, just like uh, suspenders. So that's not a word. <laughs> suit is a word, though. S U I T. A suit. And that means this E really looked like this E belonged with that, but it didn't. I mean, that's not a word. E-suit. Well, maybe it is. To somebody, maybe it's a name of something. Like an electronic suit. <laughs> bonnet. A bonnet is something you wear on your head. It's like a hat. But it's a hat without a brim, I think. And you can tie it. It covers a good portion of the head. I know we have this phrase in American English, anyway. Maybe it's also in British English. But it's for referencing when you give somebody an idea, something that you want them to think about and consider. You can say, uh, that's a bee in your bonnet. Which sounds kind of scary, actually, because if you had like a bumblebee or honeybee in your bonnet, that would be kind of nerve-wracking. You wouldn't want that thing in your hair, stinging your head. But be in your bonnet, I guess because a bee would buzz around, it would make you think. <laughs> Cloak. Cloak is like a cape. I think a cloak is a cape with sleeves. Now, if you wanted me, if you wanted me to be sure about that, if you wanted me to guarantee you, <laughs> uh, exactly what kind of garment these are, this is or that was. And you could ask in the live chat, and I would do more research on that for you. But, but no one's watching at the moment, so I just ramble. And I just realized I didn't have the chat ready, so that's why the pause in the puzzle, because I have to make sure I do answer a question if I'm... And if I've got it written on the scrolling text, that'll answer questions. I should be prepared to do just that. But no, okay, I just brought up the, the live chat. <laughs> and uh, no questions. No questions as of yet. None as of yet. Okay, all right. We have pants over here. 
A P A N T S pants pants in kind of pants jeans you can wear jeans a is still in use here okay that's got to be a word i don't know look it spelled okay let me do it this way k-a-r-o-n-a -A. corona so it lets me if i move the the joystick backwards it'll spell it corona or it will spell anorak <laughs> either way i don't know what either of those two things are i'm a simple man i do not have uh <laughs> lots of variety in my wardrobe quite the opposite okay I'll just go this direction, and if it's not a corona, then it'll respell it anorak, but it will let me have the word, I'm pretty sure. That is how this game works. Oh, anorak is the word. Okay, let's, yeah, there it is in the list, anorak. Okay, I have to look, I have to look this up. I don't believe I have an anorak. Maybe I do. Maybe there's so many English words. so many english words that's why i like these puzzles but i don't think i've heard this word before it's not all that common or maybe i have and i just didn't notice it okay here here is here's what we're talking about here anorak here is it's a parka is how i know it here's what we're talking about here anorak parka. here is it's a parka is how I know it. Anorak. Here's what we're talking about here. Anorak. Oh, here is Parka. Is how I know it. Anorak. Here's what we're talking about here. Anorak. Oh, here is Parka. Is how I know it. Anorak. Here's what we're talking about here. Anorak. Oh, here is Parka. Is how I know it. Here's what we're talking about here. Anorak. Oh, here is Parka. Is how I know it. Here's what we're talking about here. Anorak. Here is Parka. How I know it. Here's what we're talking about here. Anorak. Here is Parka. Anorak. All right. Bra. B R A. Do not wear a bra, but I do wear a scarf. S C A R F. And that goes around your neck, keep you warm in the winter, to keep your throat. And keep your throat from freezing. Um, I want to say in the letters here for Angora, but oh, cap. That's a hat with just a brim on the front. Is this all one word? It's not. Oh, here we go. It's hat. There's hat. It's like a cap. There's cap right there. And a hat is a type of, or a cap <laughs> is a type of hat. And a sarong. And that's a word. I know what a sarong is. I know it's something to wear. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Can't picture it. A sarong. I think it's more women's wear. I think it goes around the waist. Men can wear it too. I don't know. I don't care. Anybody can wear anything, right? It doesn't. I'm just thinking what what uh, demographic is most likely to buy such an article of clothing. Let's see. Yeah, sarong, anybody can, any of these things. Although bra, why would anybody want to wear a bra? That can't be comfortable. Okay, soap. That's an English word, but nobody wears soap. So I'm going to go down here 
and I have a grep. The grep, that's not anything. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to guess with this game just to see if something's going to happen. Like over here. Overalls. Oh, yeah, that's what I call. That's what I call dungarees. That, that word was slipping my mind earlier. Overalls. So there are pants with part of the pants extends up towards the chest. And then you have like suspenders instead of a belt. And right here. Wow. I just randomly chose those words. I, I, I just let go of the button. I do not know what that is. C U L O T T E S. Colotes. Colotes. I got to be sure. Colotes are an item of clothing worn on the lower half of the body. The term can refer to either split skirts, historical men's breeches, and military uniforms. Find your perfect colotes here. They're a kind of trousers, I guess. I can show you the Google image search. <laughs> I I don't know about this. I'll show you the Google image search. <laughs> I would never have I, to shop for I don't know about this. I'll show you the Google image. Okay. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But everything here is something to wear. Like right here, a blazer. It's like a suit jacket, but it's sporty, I want to say. A jumper. I don't know why British English calls a jumper a jumper. Who jumps around when you put one of those on? Nobody does any kind of jumping. Stock? Stockings. Stockings. Okay, those go on your feet. Something you wear on your legs. Stockings. Mm, leggings. Similar to stockings. Although, I think leggings go from your toes all the way to your waist. Where stockings are like really tall, long socks. But... I'm really probably the last person to ask about any of this. I am not very fashionable. Oh, cor corset. A corset, I think that's something that you wear underneath your clothes that squeezes your body into a different shape. Let me make sure. I, I'm pretty sure. They aren't worn as much as they used to be by some by some people. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Hmm. I think it could be a type of lingerie as well. Gown. A gown is like a dress, I think. And here we have a jersey, a shirt that's durable. Used in sports, a jersey. And J-A-C-K-E-T, a jacket. Pretty much like a coat. It'll keep you warm. A tie for formal wear. See, look at this, it's amazing. All of these words, they just popped out eventually. But looking at the puzzle, looking at the puzzle at the start, wow, I was lost. Here we have raincoat, R-A-I-N-C-O-A-T. Only comfortable when you wear it in the rain. I guess there's some 
comfortable waterproof clothes you can get, but a raincoat, that'll keep you dry during a storm. But it's not so comfortable to to wear during nice weather. A tunic. A tunic. Okay, I think tunic is a very basic type of clothing. <laughs> a tunic? Yeah, uh, tunics have been worn for a long time. I don't know. Are they still in fashion? I don't do any kind of shopping. Okay, here's time. I don't know. Are they still in fashion? I don't do any kind of shopping. Okay, here's time. I don't know. Are they still in fashion? I don't do any kind of shopping. Okay. And last but not least, a cardigan. It's a kind of sweater, I believe. It's a button-down sweater. All right. That was uh, one puzzle. Wow, that took me an hour. I got a snazzy new blindfold, but I can't see myself wearing it. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay, that's a pun. I can't see myself wearing it. That's literally, right? If you put the blindfold on, you're blind, effectively. You can't see because of the blindfold. It's wrapped around your eyes. But the phrase, I can't see myself wearing it, or I can't see myself doing that, or I can't see myself saying this, or saying that, can't see myself wearing it, means you can't imagine that thing happening. It's not a possibility. But this is, uh, this is uh, a sentence with very literal meaning. You've got to be able to understand that. Okay, well, uh, that's it for this episode of Puzzling English Words. If you're watching live next time, uh, ask a question in the live chat. I will do my best to answer anything and everything I can about my native language. <laughs>